Okay, we are on worksheet 9, atomic structure. We've been working on these problems in direct. And now we're going to take a few minutes to talk about the three isotopes of uranium. So we're going to take a look here at number 6, 7, and 8. These are the three, three different isotopes of uranium. Okay, so they're still uranium. But they each has a different, each has a different mass number. There's 238, 240, and 250. So what that means is the neutrons are going to be different because it has a different mass number. So let's see how you did here, and we'll review each column, and you can you can check your work. Now the symbol. Okay, well of course the symbol. Okay, that's pretty easy. You just look off the chart, and each each of the three has a symbol of U. You can find out on the, on, on the chart. Okay, as far as atomic number goes, okay, atomic number, okay, that's of course 92, and again, the atomic number, that's the number found, if you look in the box here, that's the number found on top of the box. On your chart, it's in red, atomic number. Okay, next column, atomic mass. Okay, atomic mass, that's the average mass. In your aims case, it's 238.09. And again, how you find that is if you look um, on each box, ooh, 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 ooh. if you look on each box, okay, if you look on the box on your chart, you can find the atomic mass at the bottom. That's an average of all the uranium. So if you were to find a random uranium, okay, it would probably be somewhere around 238 because the average is 238.02. Eight, nine. Okay, moving on to the next column, the mass number. Okay, the mass number, next column. Okay, that is the dash number. So the mass number is this dash number right here, 238. For column six, uh, 240. For number seven and then 250 for number eight so you can see the mass number that's something that's given to you okay the mass number for each isotope is given to you you would not know that that would be part of the information given so you can see that we have the mass number right there okay matches the dash okay the mass number here matches the dash so that's the mass number of one particular isotope Okay, moving on. Um, number of protons. Number of protons. That's the atomic number. So that's going to be 92. If you notice that that does not change for any of the isotopes, all uranium is 92. So column 2, atomic number, is the same as column 5. They mean the same thing. Now, column 6. This is where it gets a little trickier. Okay, for this, you got to find out the number of neutrons. And for number of neutrons, we said in class you have to take the mass number. 238, okay, the mass number, and then subtract the atomic number of the protons. And if you do that, subtract 238 minus 92, and that's going to equal the neutrons. Again, if you take 240 minus 92, put a little equal sign there, and that'll equal the next column. 250 minus 92. Now, you might need a calculator for some of these because they can be can be kind of tricky and kids often get these wrong because they go too fast but if you check your work here for uranium 238 the neutrons is 146 again that's 238 minus 92 146 uh, the second one is 148 and then 158 so really the only difference with the three isotopes is the number of neutrons are different which gives it a different mass number Okay, let's move on to column seven, number of electrons. Now, there's an easy way and a hard way we mentioned in class. The hard way is to take all these electrons up here and add them up. So two in level one plus eight plus 18 plus 32 plus 21 plus nine and plus two equals 92. Okay, so they're gonna equal 92. So that's the hard way, the easy way is just to use the atomic number 
and that gives you the number of electrons when the charge is zero. So again, 92. So on these on this chart, column two, the atomic number equals column five, number of protons, and that equals column six, number of neutrons. I'm sorry, number of electrons. Number of electrons, not neutrons. Okay, symbol notation. Okay, you don't have to worry too much about that, but in case you're curious, uh, the top left, that's the mass number. Bottom left, atomic number. Upper right, that's the charge, which in this case, they're all zero. And then bottom right, neutrons. And in the middle, the symbol. And lastly, lastly, the electron shells. For that, you look in the upper right-hand corner, you can see that there is the number in shell one. Okay, eight is in shell two. Oops, 18 in shell three. Okay, all the way down to uh, then four, five, six, and then the last shell, okay, shell seven, there's two. Okay, so um, how you would, how you write that on your chart would be, you would just list them. Okay. You would just list them two for the first comma eight comma eighteen. Okay, so you can now um, take a few minutes to check your work. I'm going to reveal the answers. You can check all of your work here, and if anything still isn't clear, okay, please let me know. Okay, this these questions are not very difficult. They just take practice. So I'm going to reveal all the information. You can just check your work, see how you did. Okay, if you need to pause the screen, that's totally fine. Okay, get rid of some of this some of this writing here. Okay. Well, that about does it for atomic structure. If any of these are still not clear, send me a message on Schoology or contact me during homework. I can give you more practice with this. Uh, the bottom line is you, you need to be able to use your periodic table to solve all these types of problems. Protons, neutrons, electrons, um, atomic mass, mass numbers. Okay, and with practice, it becomes very easy. So have a great day, and I thank you for listening. Woohoo!